April and Jason here. We are Dallas wedding photographers and we also are educators helping you grow in your photography journey. Yes, and we would like to educate you today. <laughs> today, we're gonna to be talking about ways to build your client's confidence during a photo shoot. Um, but before we jump into that, we have a class that we would love you to pause this video and register yes. for. Basically the idea is if you're having, if you want to take better pictures, you're just like, hey, I got a phone, I got a camera, and I just feel like I could be taking better pictures. Mm -hmm. um, we just go over some kind of easy topics that will help you. All right, y'all, so we are gonna talk about building your client's confidence today, and we have five points that we're gonna discuss. The first one, um, and so really quickly, all of these really are just, clients in general, the bulk of them, are un uncomfortable in front of the camera. Yes, they come very so, nervous, and they let us know. Like, yeah, and we hate getting our pictures taken, we feel awkward. It's true, and so, and before we came up with these things, um, we were reacting yeah. to the client's experience and we would leave a shoot being like, oh, they were cool, they had fun, and they did. But then most of the time it was like, hey, I noticed that they didn't really have, like they weren't having fun. And so once we realized we gotta come up, we gotta be proactive about this yes. and understand, like put ourselves in their shoes. And so here's some things that we do that we know would make us feel more confident and in turn makes them feel more confident. Um, we would show up to shoots and we would let clients just like, hey, yeah, no, that looks good over there. Yeah, uh, just kind of slide in. Okay, I'll take the picture now. And they'd be like, what do I do with my hands? What, uh, what is he okay looking there, you know? Mm -hmm. So we came up with a posing playbook. Yes. And definitely that does not put us in a box as far as artistic poses go. We always at a shoot will be like, hey, oh, hey, I see something. Let's do this, you know? But at least you have core poses that you can write out the gate yes. like, hey, okay, hey, and you can tell them because you have to educate your clients on what you want them to mm -hmm. do. So you can tell them, hey, go ahead and put your hand here. Hey, go ahead and put your feet there. So know your poses is huge. Yeah, it for was good just to have some kind of foundation mm -hmm. and basics so that if we needed to later change things up, it's okay if it was awkward, we knew what to do. Exactly, and, and some poses people don't fall right into and you're like, you know what, throw that pose out the window. Let's do that, you know, in general, let's do this one. So. Um, but we don't typically do that real quick. That's a side note. If a client is having a trouble following into a pose, we will literally, oh, that's great. Take the picture. Try not to be negative. So don't go like, hey, that one's not working. Let's do a different one. Just go ahead and be like, hey, that looks great. Take the picture and then slide into a different pose. That was a little bit extra. Well, one more extra thing. Sorry to add on. We like extra. extra. <laughs> we know as ourselves, when we go get our pictures taken, because occasionally we have to do branding photos, we already feel kind of awkward because we don't know what we look like mm. and we want to feel the best and look the best. So it, it really does help us a lot when our photographers are like, no, you look great. And they yes. have a plan and we know exactly what they're asking us to do. So we are more confident as we're posing ourselves. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, uh, so knowing your poses definitely builds confidence. So the next one is going to be showing the back of the camera. Um, and I would say do this often. So um, once you're, you're feeling very confident about your pictures or honestly like, no, yeah, once you're feeling confident about your pictures, you definitely need to be showing the back of your camera to the client. We have had so, it's, it's literally our favorite thing to do yeah. in photography because mm -hmm. people show up, oh yeah, I don't like taking pictures, oh, I'm nervous. And then you put them in a pose and they're like nervous about that pose. Mm -hmm. And then you show them the back of the camera. You're like, is that me? It's the best. Oh my gosh. It's the best, the best compliment that you can get. So not only yes. is your confidence boosted, but then the client's confidence is boosted. And for the rest of the session, you're they're like, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And <laughs> yeah. then you're like, get into the bird pose. And they're like, what's the bird? I'm like, and like then, whatever you want me to do. Yeah. I like what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. so and it's a good way to have a lot of fun with the client, make the experience more fun. But then they will always look at it and be like, oh, let's keep going. Yeah. Um, and then the third thing is really praise, praise, praise. Like you are your client's biggest cheerleader Absolutely. you are not if you're mm -hmm. if you're not a confident photographer learn how to be because you won't get as good make pictures. it till you make it you won't get as good of pictures if you're sitting there like oh that's good you know you have to be like oh my gosh over the top y'all look so that smile point out smiles if you like a specific smile hey that smile you just did was mm -hmm. so good be be polite be professional but be it be everything is positive be positive positive this looks good that looks good oh i love it when you put her hand there like you guys are so just be as big 
big during the shot. Like if they're walking towards you, oh, that looks great. Oh, I like how you looked over there. Oh my gosh. Like mm -hmm. just the whole time because that also builds confidence. 1000%. And when we tell, when people tell us how much it felt like fun instead mm -hmm. of work, that just blesses our heart because so our right. client experience is in our minds, one of the top priorities. Like we want people to have so much fun, but also get amazing photos. So then that's like, a triple win, you know? Yeah, for real. So um, the next tip we have is no awkward silences. And so a lot of times we'll be walking back and forth to different spots and locations. Mm -hmm. And this is a really good time for us just to just get to know our clients. Like, mm -hmm. so where do you guys go to school? Or yes. what is your goal right now? Are you trying to, I don't know, like <laughs> just kind of get to know or yeah. where are you from? It can be just like the easiest questions. And you might want to have just a list of questions ready. So when it feels a little awkward and maybe there's a little bit of a lull or silence you can come up with some nice questions or you can mm -hmm. talk about yourselves you know just so that it doesn't feel weird to them because that's that's the opposite of what we want anybody to be feeling right and, and awkward silences are weird but the other thing is the more you get to know your clients the more comfortable they're going to be yeah. because i would much rather have a friend take my picture than a stranger Absolutely. so the more during the shoot you talking to them, building their confidence, they're getting to know you. At one point you're gonna be like, oh, it's like we're friends. And that's awesome because then they'll be more confident in front of the camera. Yeah, and the more specific you can be, again, just talking about poses or what you're wanting your clients to do, the more they're gonna understand what you're asking of them and they're not having to like whisper to each other, like second guess, like do whatever I'm supposed to be doing right now. Mm -hmm. So you don't want any of that. So make sure there's no awkward silences and you're being very direct, very cheerful and excited and then you're just gonna up level your client's experience. Yes, yes, yes. And that's it. That is it. Hey, I thought there was one more. There is not. Nope. No, but, but we it. hope these, these tricks helped you all as far as building your yeah. client's confidence goes. Thank you so much for tuning in today, y'all rock. Don't forget to go register for our free class and then let us know if you have any questions. We would love to just curate this experience to fit your needs. So yeah. if you have different photography questions or ideas that you would like us to cover, we would be happy to hear from you. Thanks, y'all. Talk, Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.